that 88% of Americans eat turkey on Thanksgiving. As much as we love our feathered friends, or at least as much as we love to eat them, do we really know what all goes into being a Thanksgiving turkey? WBKO Sarah Phipps visited the Jolly Barnyard to get the word on the holiday bird. Breed is the broad-breasted whites, and then the size, different people still want different sizes, but typically they range from 12 to 20 pounds. Samuel Yoder, owner of the Jolly Barnyard, says they receive their turkeys as young as one or two days old and keep them in what's called a brooder until they're ready for the open field. We need to be extra careful with the turkeys in getting them through that first week, but then um, even through, say, about the third week. And then from there, they're a lot hardier. They go out onto... Uh, onto the pasture in enclosed shelters that we move daily. And those shelters don't have floors in them, so they are on the grass and the soil as well. At around six weeks, the turkeys are taken into the open field, where Yoder says during peak season, they can easily have over a thousand of the poultry. Though by the beginning of November, many have already been butchered and are ready to be shipped out for dinner, with the process taking around 14 weeks overall. We, we just take them to the butcher and then they get frozen. Our main buyers pick them up there and then the few that we sell to individuals, we will deliver them closer to Thanksgiving. At this point, they're frozen. The reason for freezing is just the logistics of the time management between time they need to be, they get butchered to the time they need to be um, process, or cooked and eaten. Yoder says the key to raising a premium grade turkey is in the stuffing, or at least but what it stuffs it right. in its beak. Like some people will get a fair amount of turkeys and then just feed them some cheap grain they could find at the local mill. Um, a proper, proper feed is good with minerals and vitamins. Everything needs good minerals. And so a good mineral in the feed is is very essential. We mix our own our own mix. Um, we have different grain that we put in it and then a good mineral mix. While an avian flu outbreak had many farmers facing a turkey shortage last year, Yoder says this year has been a success. Reporting in Lewisburg, Sarah Phipps. <laughs> WBKO News. Interesting story, Sarah. Thank you. While turkey season is up, the Jolly Barnyard has plenty of other wares to offer. We'll have links for the farm on our website, WBKO.com.